One example of interleaving that I find really helpful is when baseball players are uh, in batting practice. And with interleaving, the key component is mixing things up. So with a batter, if they are in um, batting practice and they're getting thrown 10 fastballs, 10 curveballs, and 10 changeups, then the batter always knows what's actually coming at them, literally, right? So I'm gonna practice for 10 balls hitting it the exact same way, or, or you know, with feedback, changing it up a little. But then or leaving, it's important to move those around. So maybe a batter could hit two fastballs, three change-ups, one curved ball, and so on. Because then that keeps them on their toes, they don't know what's coming at them, and then they have to discriminate. So depending on this ball coming at me, what pitch is it and how do I need to hit it in a split second? In a study on interleaving by my colleagues Nate Cornell and Bob Bjork, they looked at how college students could remember paintings. So college students were presented with artists and a few examples of their paintings. That's pretty much it. And their two comparison groups were simply while you're learning these paintings, should we show you five paintings by Picasso and then five paintings by Rembrandt and so on, or should we interleave and mix them up? And what they found in this very simple study and a number of experiments is that when students were learning the paintings all mixed up, when you present them with new paintings, they were much better able at identifying the artist as opposed to when college students were just remembering or learning paintings in blocks. One aspect of interleaving that's really important to keep in mind is mixing up similar things. When we talk to college students, for instance, they often think that they should first study biology homework and then their calculus homework, then chemistry, then English, and so on. And that type of mixing up doesn't provide the benefit that interleaving does when you focus on similarities and differences. One analogy about interleaving I find really helpful is a fruit salad. When we're making a fruit salad, we put in strawberries and uh, blueberries and raspberries, but we don't put broccoli into that fruit salad, right? That broccoli in a fruit salad doesn't sound appetizing at all. And instead of interleaving things that are too different or putting vegetables into a salad with fruit, interleaving is most beneficial when we have to think about the differences and discriminate. So mixing up similar types of things like in a fruit salad is what really benefits learning, not just simply mixing things up.